Moin Moin and welcome to Ralph's Filler Booth. Today I want to show you a new video of my knowledge base series and the topic of today is the autofocus systems. In the last weeks I tested the Sony Alpha SLT A99 and um, this is a DSLR but it's a special DSLR. Um, it has a mirror, yeah, that's for sure, like all the other DSLRs, but the mirror is fixed. So if you uh, press the shutter release, you will see that the mirror still is fixed. So the mirror don't goes up and down, like uh, to compare it with uh, the Canon 60, you will see if I press the shutter, the mirror goes up and the mirror goes down. So, what does it mean for the uh, autofocus systems? In general, we have two autofocus systems working in cameras. That's the contrast autofocus and that's the face detection autofocus. The face detection autofocus is very fast and um, one very important thing of the face detection autofocus is um, with the camera uh, knows where the focus point is. So if it's before or behind the point where the, where the lens is still at the moment where the autofocus system is uh, working. So um, the autofocus system of the, um, of the SLT is here, you see, there it's it's a little bit difficult to see. Um, uh, it's it's up on the on the top. So the light goes through the lens and is reflected up to the autofocus system, and the main part of the light goes to the uh, sensor where the image is saved. So. The light comes through the lens, goes to the autofocus system, you press the shutter release, the camera works uh, with uh, face detection and um, works the, and, and the, the, the motor of the autofocus uh, system in the lens um, focus exactly on the perfect point where the picture is crisp and sharp. So it, it works directly and it's not like going forward, backward, forward, backward to find the, the perfect focus point. Um, the uh, face detection, not face, it's not like the face, but it's, it's face with pH, face detection system, um, knows exactly where the, where the point is, where the lens has to go to, to focus just on the point. So, and because the mirror is constantly in the same position, the camera can always, at every point, focus with the um, system of the face detection. So even if we press the shutter, even if you make a picture, the mirror stands still and the face detection still works. So that's one reason why you can make very fast um, um, uh, pictures in a row because the system of the autofocus system is uh, all the time working. And if you use the uh, constant autofocus system, um, which means you, you follow an object which comes uh, to you or, or goes away from you, the camera can in, in every second follow this object and um, the, the uh, motor of the lens is always on the exact right position where the focus is and the, the picture is crisp, clear and sharp. So that's one big advantage of the, of the uh, SLT A99 or every SLT camera can has, a, has some other SLT cameras in the APS-C sensor class. Um, so that's, that's one of the big advantages of the um, SLT. So let's compare it with a, with a normal DSLR. The normal DSLR has also uh, the face detection sensors and the face detection sensors are not 
on top they are not they are not uh, in in this position because here we have the optical viewfinder so the light goes through the mirror goes up and comes out of the uh, optical viewfinder so they they use a different system so the uh, mirror is in the middle a little bit um, translucent so the light goes in the middle part way through the mirror and if I move the mirror a little bit up you will see that behind the mirror there is a second small mirror. You see it's a little bit difficult to see because two mirrors in a row ah, they, there we I think you can see it. There's a little mirror who also goes up. So the light goes mainly up to the uh, optical viewfinder but a part of the light goes through the mirror and is reflected down. So the out of focus system of a normal DSLR is on the bottom. So here down well, it's difficult to see with the light it's not so easy to show. Uh, yeah, maybe you see it. There down is the autofocus sensor for the face detection. Well, what means this if you press the shutter release? If you press the shutter release, the mirror goes up and the face detection, the autofocus system doesn't get any more information. So it's like nothing. And in this second, if the object moves and comes to you or goes away from you, um, the, the autofocus system can't follow this object. It's just um, a short time, it's dark, and when the mirror goes down, the autofocus system can start again and focus again on the, on the object. So, and that's also the reason why the mirror has to go up and down between every picture. It would be easy to say, oh, the picture, the, the uh, mirror is up and let's go picture, 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 picture. But in this time, the autofocus system is blind. So the autofocus system can't, uh, can't, out of fo can't focus on the, on the object. So that won't work. So that's the reason why um, this system is a little bit, not slower, but it's not so correct and not so um, perfect like the SLT. But the DSLRs have a, another advantage. So you know, all the new DSLR cameras um, has the live view and in the live view, the mirror goes up. So if I change, uh, you see here on the back side, we have the start stop button. If I press the start stop button, you see we are on the live view. Uh, this looks like from, uh, so it goes up. Now the face detection sensor doesn't get any more information, but you have to have another option to, to uh, use an autofocus system. And here on this point, we have the contrast autofocus. And the contrast autofocus is, um, is on the sensor, but it's not on the sensor. It's a system which works with the sensor. And the contrast autofocus works in another way than the face detection. The contrast autofocus um, moves or turns the autofocus motor in the, in the lens a little bit in one direction and checks if the contrast gets higher or lower. If the contrast gets lower, it's a long direction and the motor turns in the other direction. So the contrast get better, 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 better. At a certain point, the contrast is perfect, but the camera goes a little bit over this point and sees, okay, the contrast is now get worse. So let's go down. So it's like try and error. You go up, 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 up down. So you have the point where the, where the sharpness is perfect and that's the point where the camera makes the picture or you make the picture. 
So the problem is this is very slow. So you can't use this for like sport photography or animals who move in the pictures, even not for, for your kids which, uh, who, who, when, when they're playing on the playground. So the, the contrast out of focus system is very slow and um, it's not good for, for fast moving objects. So that's the reason why when you take movies, um, in the movies you should not have objects who run away, come to you or stuff like that because in the video modus the mirror is up and the camera works with the contrast out of focus. So normal DSLR, two systems, face detection, fast, efficient, but a short darkness period when the mirror is up and the uh, contrast out of focus system slow but as a second system for the um, for the videos and for the live view it's okay so these are the the, the two different uh, systems of the um, DSLR and by the way one, one very important thing the um, contrast autofocus works on the whole picture so you can move I can show you you can uh, you can you can move the um, I have to put a lens on it otherwise it won't work um, you can move the uh, autofocus point as you can see here you can move the autofocus point to every position in the picture. So let's see if I press the button. You see the camera goes up and down and now, just a second, I'm not, I have to hold the camera. You see, now we have the focus point. So it goes forward, backward, forward, backward, till the point where the sharpness uh, is perfect. So if we are not in the, uh, in the live view mode, we have these, fields for the face detection and these fields are only in the middle and the center of your picture so they are not they, they use not the whole picture they are only in the center of the picture in a in a in a part like like um, this so um, that's the usual DSLR here, as I said, we have the face detection system and the face detection system works all the time all the time means also when I make a video. So that's a big advantage of the Sony SLT cameras. They use the face detection also when you make a video because the, the difference between video and photo, there's no difference. The mirror stands still at this position. The autofocus detection, the, the face detection of the autofocus works all the time. So even if you, if you make a movie, um, the camera can follow objects who come to you or go away from you. So the, the sharpness is usually, not all the time, but usually perfect. Even if you, if you take movies from uh, moving objects like children uh, or uh, dogs playing around or stuff like that. But the Sony has another problem. Um, I will show what, what it means. You have the... Um, contrast out of focus system on a, on a usual DSLR and the problem with the Sony is you don't have a contrast out of focus with this camera so let's see the Sony has only uh, these fields for the contrast out of focus in the middle you see here we are these are the out of focus points of the Sony SLT system. These are the only out of focus points of the camera. So if you want to focus on a, on a point uh, out of the center, like here where my finger is or on, on top or, or anywhere else, it's not possible. You have to move the camera to this point, press the uh, shutter release a little bit, the camera focus on this point, and then you can go to your motive and take the picture and then you know this point is sharp. So it's like uh, pick the point where you want to have it sharp, press the button and then you can turn. You can move these these uh, out of focus points, that's for sure, only just by moving here, but you only have the center where the out of focus points are. 
The Sony SLT R99 doesn't have a contrast autofocus. So it's always face detection, never contrast autofocus. So you can never can do the same like in a in a Canon 6D or a Nikon D600 where you can move the uh, contrast focus point in the live view mode anywhere you want on the motif, anywhere, not only in the center. With the uh, SLT you only have these points in the middle. So that's very important to know. The SLT is very fast because the autofocus works all the time. If you use the setting constant autofocus, the camera will follow objects all the time which comes uh, to you or run away or go from right to the left or anywhere else. The camera can follow these objects very, very good and um, the autofocus system works very perfect in these situations and it works also perfect uh, in the video mode because the, the mirror um, gives all the time the autofocus system the chance to work. The, the fixed mirror gives the, the autofocus uh, system the, the whole time the chance to work and to focus um, on the on the object you want to get in focus. So that's very nice, that's very good and that works real perfect. But on the other hand you don't have the possibility in the live view mode to put an, uh, a contrast autofocus point on every point of the motive where you want. Like if you if you work on a if you work on a tripod and put the camera on a tripod and want to put the autofocus point on the left, right, middle or somewhere corner, um, you have to turn the camera or on the other hand you have to go manual focusing. That's another way so you can you can move the, the uh, autofocus the, the focus magnifier for the manual uh, focusing on the corner. That's that's always an option, but it's not out of focus, it's manual out of focus. So these are the difference between the, the two systems, DSLR, the common, the normal DSLR and the Sony SLT. They, they both have their pros and cons, and um, but you have to know which camera for which use is the perfect one. So if you buy a new camera and uh, you know you, you take a lot of pictures in a way uh, with sport, with moving objects, you want to make movies, then a SLT is very good. If you want to work more in a common way, uh, the other cameras like a D600 or a 60 uh, um, are very very good. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope uh, it helped you a little bit to understand how the autofocus system and the different cameras work. And um, yeah, I hope you look at the other videos I make on my channel. Um, there are some nice reviews of the most important cameras and um, yeah, I'm working on the knowledge base videos so there is always some stuff to view. Hope you enjoyed it and you come back uh, till now. Uh, bye bye and moin moin.